Tonight, we're hearing a mother's frantic call to 911 moments after a car plowed onto the sand at Ormond Beach, hitting four children late yesterday afternoon. And we're seeing first responders in the sand right after the wreck. Uh, a car what? ran off of the road onto the beach. Oh. Did it hit anybody? Yes, my five-year-old daughter, her head is split open. Five-year-old Cora Buzo is heard screaming and crying as her mother calls 911 from the beach in Ormond by the Sea. A car drove through a guardrail and onto the sand, hitting the little girl and her siblings. They need the pediatric board. There's four. Body first responders in this just-released body cam footage calling the kids courageous. One, two, three. Great job, sweetheart. Good Great job, job sweetheart. Awesome. Bravo. All I heard from my mom and my seven. Run, run, run. 11-year-old Wyatt Barber says he and his family were visiting from Ocala for spring break when he heard his parents yelling to get out of the way. I tried to get Coco to run, but she was just, the car was already there. The Florida Highway Patrol says 82-year-old William Johnson was visiting from Massachusetts and pulled his Toyota SUV onto the shoulder of A1A at Al Weeks Senior North Shore Park. That's when troopers say he hit the gas instead of the brake repeatedly, tearing into the parking lot, hitting a pole, then a fence, then crashing down onto the beach. When I heard, run, run, I turned and I saw the ramp just breaking into pieces. So I didn't know what to do. Wyatt, his three-year-old brother, and five-year-old sister were released from Halifax Hospital a couple hours later. His other five-year-old sister, though, Cora, was airlifted to Gainesville. I wish I, wish I was the one that got hurt the most. What a brave young man. All the kids will be okay. Family members say little Cora, she was admitted to Shans Gainesville with a broken pelvis.